What's up guys, Philip here bringing you another review. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Rival 3 Mouse by SteelSeries. So SteelSeries makes some of the best mice in the industry. And most of their mice cost like $40 plus, but this mouse is a little bit special because it's pretty budget for SteelSeries standards. This thing runs for $30. And this mouse here actually feels really good and it doesn't feel like some cheap, you know, wobbly, janky mouse. This thing feels really premium at the $30 price mark. So before we cover the mouse any further, a quick 20 second message from the sponsor of this video and then we're gonna get straight into things. Sparkify is a website that pulls in giveaways from all over the internet and brings them into one place. So instead of running around the internet looking for the best giveaways out there, Sparkify brings them into one place for you to cherry pick which giveaways you want to enter. So if you wanna win some free stuff, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can create your Sparkify account to win some cool giveaway prizes. So when receiving this package, what's included Included is the mouse of course which connects via USB-A and a user's guide manual that will show you some of the basics on how to use the mouse. So first impressions when I actually took this mouse out of the box was that there was like no wobbles or rattles as I mentioned earlier. This thing is like constructed like perfectly like to the little microscopic thing like there's no wobbles rattles like here's a little shake test for you guys. Like nothing. This thing is so well put together. It, it just feels so nice, refined, and polished. And then the click test, here's a little click test for you to hear what it sounds like. It doesn't feel like when I click it like wobbles left or right. It just, it clicks so perfectly. And I'm not hyping this thing up just, you know, for the sake of hyping it up. I really mean it. This thing feels good. Now a little bit about the material of the mouse. This thing is made fully of a polymer material and it's covered with a matte black finish and it looks really sleek, really clean and you don't have like that glossy light reflecting off of it and it's not a fingerprint magnet. So I really like that about this mouse. The buttons also are made of the polymer material, the top button here and the two side buttons which we'll be covering a little later. The only thing that's not a polymer finish is the scroll wheel and the scroll wheel is made of a rubber material and this thing does not rattle, wiggle, or anything when you click on the uh, middle mouse button. So really good job by SteelSeries on creating that super polished product, especially at a $30 price mark. That's just amazing. Now, if we take a look under the mouse, you're gonna see three sliders that uh, the mouse is held together on, which is gonna slide really nicely on your mouse pad while you're using it. And then the other thing you're gonna notice is the sensor, and this is their True Move Core sensor which has a 100 to 8,500 CPI rate and CPI is count per inch. It's gonna give you a lot of accuracy, speed, and consistency when using the mouse. None of those like flickers or your mouse randomly blinking like half an inch the other, like one direction of your screen. So you shouldn't be getting that with this high CP, CPI rate. And the CPI can be configured in the software so you can really adjust this thing to make it work exactly how you want it to work. And if we look on the side of the mouse here, you can see that it has this cool little RGB light that goes from you know the front towards the back here. And then on the back you have the SteelSeries logo that illuminates. And all of these lights can be configured in the software and you can make this thing glow a few different patterns. And one thing to note about the lights is that there's three lighting options here, even though it's glowing one color, you have like a front light, a center light, and then like a back light. So if you want, you can configure all three of them to glow like a different color, or if you want it one color, kind of like with a gradient look, you can totally do that. This isn't just one light, it's a lot of three different lights that are, you know, pulling this effect off. Next, let's cover the comfort as well as what type of palm grip this is for. So in terms of the size of this mouse, this thing I would say is more on the medium slash slim side. It's not like a tiny mouse where you need little hands to grip it. This thing is pretty average size. So I think most people will be happy with this mouse. So this thing is more optimized for people who are doing palm grips, which is a grip where you lay your hand on the mouse flat on the mouse and your hand just rests on it, the top of your hand. And it's gonna be pretty comfortable and it's gonna be really good for long periods of use time. And the other grip style is finger grip style. And finger grip style is basically where your fingers kinda grip the mouse from the two sides and then on the top and your palm isn't touching the back of the mouse at all. So this is pretty good too because some people find it to be uh, you can be a little more accurate with the finger grip style, but it's really personal preference. So you can do palm grip or finger finger tip grip in conclusion. And then one more thing to note, this is a righties only mouse. This is not an ambidextrous mouse. So 
you're not gonna be able to use this thing as a lefty. I mean, you can, but you're not gonna get access to the side of the buttons here. So now that we covered the physical aspects of this mouse, let's talk a little bit about the software and some of the functionality with this mouse. So the first thing to note is that this thing has onboard memory. And what that means is if you tweak some of the settings in the software, they're gonna get saved onto the mouse and not to your computer because some people like to travel with their mouse and it's really annoying if you have to reinstall the software on a different computer. So it all gets saved on the mouse. Really cool stuff there. And then it also has six programmable buttons, which are the two side buttons here. And then the right click, left click, the DPI button here, which by default switches the speed of your mouse. And then you also have the scroll wheel, which is when you click the scroll wheel, you can configure, you know, whatever key goes off and you can do, you can add like macros to it, which are a sequence of keys, or you can just change the clicks to do anything you want. So you, for example, this is weird, but you can have like your uh, side click do like a uh, click the button Z. And that can be useful on maybe in some games or you know whatever it is that you need to do. So really customizable in the software if you want to do any of that. And I'm not going to be going into depth with the software here because in my last video about the Steel Series keyboard, I did a software review and a lot of the things are the same on the keyboard as they are on the mouse. And speaking of keyboards, if you're interested in pairing this mouse up with a pretty cool keyboard, I reviewed a budget keyboard, the Apex 3. And that thing is really cool. It's a high quality premium keyboard by SteelSeries and it feels just as good as this mouse. So I think they'd make a pretty good uh, combo paired up together. So I'll leave a link down to that in the description as well. So if you're interested in picking up a budget gaming mouse for $30, $35, highly recommend this thing. And if you're just looking to get a gift for someone, they will not be disappointed with this thing either. So. Definitely recommend this thing. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. And if you wanna see more content like this in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button. I review a lot of the latest stuff out there like mouse, keyboards, headsets, and a variety of other new tech that comes out. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.